Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Tinkercad. In today's session, we are going to again learn about a new uh, concept called how to use a breadboard in this particular Tinkercad software. Okay. So as we all know, we need to first open up our uh, web browser. Okay. So I have opened a Google Chrome web browser and I have uh, uh, got into this particular Tinkercad dashboard. So what we need to do here, once we open the Tinkercad software, we need to Click on this particular new and select circuits. Okay, so this is what we are going to do, right? Every time we open the Tinkercad software. So this is our uh, Tinkercad software with respect to circuit dashboard. So at the right side, you will find all the kinds of components. Okay, now let's see how we can use a breadboard uh, and uh, how to uh, implement a small circuit we are going to see now. Okay. Now let me take uh, a breadboard. You can see breadboard over here. So this is a breadboard. Okay. So first let's uh, study this particular uh, the mechanism of the uh, breadboard. Okay. So if you see over here, there are some rows with respect to some terminal indication, positive terminal as well as negative terminal. And this is also a row on the other end, which is again having some positive terminal as well as negative terminal, right? Okay. Now, if you see over here, we have few columns over here, individual columns starting from A to J. Okay. So, if you consider this particular rows, these all these rows are interconnected. So, every row is interconnected or we can say short. Okay. So, and if you consider this one, this row is also completely interconnected. Okay. Suppose if you take a battery and connect the positive terminal over here of this any point, okay, whole uh, row will be acting as a positive terminal. And this particular, let us say, the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the negative end, this particular row or this particular row. Okay. The whole row will be acting as a negative ter uh, terminal. Okay. Similarly, if you connect a battery over here, positive terminal is connected, this whole column, okay, up to this particular segment will be acting as in that particular battery terminal. Suppose you have connected positive, let us say, this whole column will be acting as a positive terminal. Let us say this particular row is connected to negative terminal. This will be this entire uh, column will be acting as a negative terminal, okay. So it's a basic concept, okay. So at the ends of the breadboard, it will be all the rows are interconnected and in the middle uh, that is from A to E as well as F to J, the columns are interconnected. Okay. Now let's take a small circuit and connect it and let's see how it works. Okay. So first initially I will be taking a 9 volts battery. So this is the 9 volts battery I have taken. So let me tilt it. Let me drag this breadboard to a side. Okay, so this is the battery I have considered. Okay, so I what I will do is I will connect this positive terminal of the battery to the some positive terminal of this particular row. So what's happening? The entire row has now is positively charged. Okay, now I will connect this particular negative terminal to the negative end. Okay. So let me take the black wire. So this is now negatively charged. Okay. So this entire row is positively charged and the entire uh, row is negatively charged. Okay. Similarly, suppose I want to give connection positive terminal to here. Okay. What I can do? I can take a wire. Okay. So I can connect it like this. This is the positive terminal. And again, from here, I can connect it like this. This is somewhat like negative terminal. Now, either sides of the terminals will be acting as a positive terminal or as negative terminal. Okay. Now, let's take a small LED and let's glow it. Okay. 
So what we need to see, we need to first consider a LED and place it on the breadboard at a particular point. Okay. Now this particular row, whole row, we can connect wherever we want. Okay. This particular column. Okay. So wherever we want. And this acts as an this particular column acts as an anode and this particular uh, column acts as a cathode, let us say. Okay. Let's take a resistor. So what I will do is I will rotate this particular uh, resistor. Okay. And I will place it here. Okay. So one end of the resistor is connected to the anode. And what I will do is I will connect the other end of the resistor to the positive terminal. So this particular wire is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So let me put it in red. Okay. You are understanding, right? Okay. Now what I will do other end, the cathode end should be connected to the cathode end of the uh, LED should be connected to the negative terminal, right? In order to glow. Okay. So let's, the whole column is interconnected, right? So we can place anywhere the wire. So from here, you are accessing the negative terminal. Okay. Let's code it as black. Okay. Simple. So the positive terminal of the battery is connected to one end of the resistor where resistor opposes the flow of current such that the LEDs get the proper amount of energy. Okay. From there, the other end of the resistor is connected to the positive terminal of the LED and the negative terminal of the LED is connected to the negative terminal of this particular battery as the whole entire row is interconnected. Okay. So likewise, we can also either use these terminals for the positive as well as negative as they are shorted or interconnected with the wires as you see here. Now, let's start simulation and let's see whether the LED glows or not. Okay. So see, I'm clicking on start simulation. If you observe, the LED is getting uh, switched on. Okay. I will stop the simulation right now. Let's see. See, the LED is switched off. Okay. Again, I will click on start simulation, the LED glows. Okay. So this is a basic, very, very easy and basic concept how to use a breadboard with respect to the Tinker can. Same uh, implementation will be done in the practically you whenever you use a breadboard in a physical form as well. Okay. Same concept. Okay.